Hello, savvy business owner and entrepreneur. I'm Pierre with the Institute of Web Design. In today's training series, we'll learn about organic SEO. We'll learn how you can use the SEO elements within your Wix website to get the best possible placement within Google and the other search partners. Organic SEO can be a key element within your overall marketing success, so you want to make sure that it's done right. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. You're not just looking for the website to be an online brochure or to provide information. Yes, it would do that. Um, but in most cases, a business is looking at a website as a way to grow their business, to grow their brand. In other words, when people are taking advantage of a search engine like Google, for example, the uh, biggest by far, <laughs> which people do every day from their computers, uh, from their smartphones, from their tablets, when they're in need for something, when they're searching for something, when they're researching something. So in this case, when that individual goes to Google because they're looking for a, a golf cart, uh, for a club cart, and they're looking for that particular type of product, they're going to go to Google and search for that. So we want to make sure that the website has the appropriate SEO elements in place to give it the best possible placement in Google for someone that's searching for that product. You want the website to be in front of that individual when they're actually in need, when they're searching for it. So let's talk about how we can give the website its best possible position uh, utilizing the SEO tools in Wix. And Wix actually makes it pretty easy for you to become an SEO expert. <laughs> so let's get started with this. Uh, some of the first things we'll take a look at when we look at this particular site, um, uh, with this particular customer, this customer uh, obviously does golf carts uh, and electric cars. Their primary market uh, that they're looking to capture is Miami. So you even see that with, for example, their logo, uh, that logo is set. If we go into uh, settings, and that logo is set as a site title. So Google will recognize that as a site title. It will recognize Miami, their primary market. Club car, which is a particular brand, or the primary brand that they carry, and you see below that golf carts and electric cars. So Google's going to register that or identify that as what this website is all about. That's the site title. Uh, so that's important to have that element there, and important that the words that are included are the phrases that are included as that site title of represent what it is you want that customer to find. Uh, so that's one of the elements that are, that are there. Uh, in addition to that, kind of getting uh, a little more advanced with it, but important to know, you know this kind of throughout, since again, they are primary targeting Miami. They want to make sure that when people put in Miami golf carts, electric carts, that they find the site. So we also have it here in text. Uh, that it's bold, Miami golf carts, Miami manufacturers. <laughs> you kind of see that throughout golf carts, kind of listed throughout the page, as in Miami golf cart pros. Uh, that doesn't mean that you just want to throw Miami all over the place. It has to make sense. It has to read well for the customer. Uh, but if you can make it read well and put that within the body of the text, uh, that can only help you. So let's talk about some of the tools. Now, if we go to pages, which we took a look at uh, earlier, uh, in the actual settings for the page, there is the page SEO. So if we click on page SEO, it allows us to 